Welcome home, Capo family. I'm Mike Kirkhoff. I'm a morning news anchor for CBS 58. Thank you so much for joining us this morning to help dedicate this gorgeous house behind me. All right, should we get you guys a house? Yes, let's do it. We ask, Lord, that you continue to bless those who serve this community with selfless service, from our soldiers overseas to our health care providers here home. Continue to bless this country that we love so much. In your name, amen. I have been on staff with Operation Friendly Home for six years, and it is humbling and it is such a blessing to watch the impact that providing these mortgage-free homes has on our veterans. I'm just so excited for you to create new memories and for you guys to feel how welcome this community is and so happy to say that you're finally home. God bless you guys. I am firmly convinced that the strength and success of a community is not measured by buildings and economic developments, by tax rates and political positions and parties, but rather by how we treat people with respect and kindness that we show to others and especially to those who have great challenges. You know, there's this organization in the front here, Finally Home. And for all of you that are standing here today and have given your time, your talent, your energy, thank you so much because this family Without families like them, we really don't have very much. And that's what has his commitment and their family's commitment is really what makes this country so great. I got to know the Bellmans uh, early on and what you do, Dave, and your company leading this operation is phenomenal. When you look at the board back here, Sacrifice is one thing, but to go above and beyond for six homes, that's what Bellmans have done. That's what their organization has done. And they bring people in. They're magnetic at this. None of this could be possible without each and every one of you stepping up and doing a little something. And that is what's truly amazing about this country. That is what's so great about America, is that a random group of people can come together and lift each other up and support each other without being asked. We're willing to do this. We want to do this. We want to help. And that's what's great about America. But today, more importantly than anything, we want to celebrate the Capo family. So Daniel, thank you so much for your service. Daniel enlisted in the Army, served nearly nine years he suffered some severe injuries along the way. He was injured with an IED blast. He was also injured when a vehicle crashed into him while repairing a Humvee. And he had to medically retire from the job that he loved. And that was tough. That's tough on him. It's tough on his family. His wife, Jamie, is sacrificed. But this home represents a new beginning, a fresh start for their family. On behalf of the building industry and Bellman Homes, I present you the keys to your new home. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I want to thank everybody that put in time and effort. David Bellman, Bellman Holmes, Jeff, um, all the people on that board right there. I don't know them all, so I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It's very overwhelming and very, um, very grateful to be chosen out of all the well considered other candidates that could have been chosen. So I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart. And um, thank you all for coming out again with everything that's going on right now. So, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be 
Carter, Carter, let's go see your room. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> phenomenal. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better house. The people that put it together, they did a wonderful job. You, we knew a little bit here and there, here and there, but to actually see it all come together and what it's like is it's amazing. It's more than we could have ever expected. I just want to say thank you to everybody for all their involvement, their volunteering, um, just every donation, time spent. And we, just, we just truly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts.